welcome back to another vlog starting off a fun vlog because we are currently in rhode island for the week which we're so excited about we basically come here every summer to visit eden's family and the summer is really special because we're staying at his grandma's house which is too too cute but yeah we are here for the next week we got in last night flew into boston we'll be here for the next week near watch hill beach we love coming to this area he grew up coming here so it's always so special just to get to explore around here and really get a dose of new england summer and so i'm so excited to just share all of our adventures for the rest of the week but today's actually saturday it's a very very gloomy saturday you can probably hear the rain right now so we've just had kind of a chill day settling in it's about three o'clock right now and basically we've just gone for lots of walks today there is the watch hill kind of main town area and over there there's a bakery called sift that we always love to go to i have a feeling we're gonna be walking over there basically every single morning stopped in some shops which i want to share a couple of the things that i got for baby which are so so cute especially now that we know that he's a boy it's so much fun just getting to shop for things for him and so I'll share a couple of the things that i got since we will be here for a little bit i do think i want to go ahead and try to unpack a lot of my stuff put things away hang things up but i also wanted to share something that i had packed for our trip because one of the things that i always struggle with especially when traveling is not staying hydrated when i'm at home i'm just always thinking about drinking water but often when traveling i find that i just feel so dehydrated and just not my best self and so one of the things that i brought here with me were some of my water drop tablets which i love i have shared these many times before i brought basically my entire pack with me but i'm so thankful to be partnering with them on today's video i'm especially excited too because this was the water bottle that i brought on this trip i always have to bring some sort of water bottle just for using in the airport and especially going to the beach this week but these are so for one just cute to look at they're bpa free so they don't have any remaining odors which is great they're vacuum insulated and leak proof and what's actually cool too is you can also use multiple lids so this is the one that i have on right now and i love that it has the wide spout so you can put ice cubes in it and everything so many different colors i even customized this lid specifically it's really nice because you can just open it up and drink from it too i wanted to bring something a little bit smaller because sometimes lugging around a giant water bottle is just not super convenient for traveling, but I really, really prefer this size for traveling. They do have different sizes though. They have a 34 ounce, 47 ounce, and a 64 ounce. And then of course their micro drinks are so nice. I love these, especially if you're someone that struggles with getting enough water and you don't love the taste of water. In my first trimester, I would use these all the time because they give just a really light flavor to your water. It's nothing super intense. My personal favorite, especially in the summer, is the Breeze one. This one's watermelon cucumber. It's so refreshing and essentially they're just these little micro drinks that you pop in your water they dissolve not overpowering and they're just so nice for staying hydrated especially during the summer they're sugar-free they contain a lot of good vitamins like vitamin c vitamin b6 you can use my code michelle to get 15 percent off your order but right now i especially wanted to share them because they're having 50 percent off the website and my code is stackable which is great so you can add it on there and just get a huge discount on your order so definitely recommend stocking up i will have them linked down below The jumpsuit that I'm wearing today is from Free People. I've shared this so many times, it's so comfortable, but very exciting because I just hit 19 weeks today as of actually today, and baby is the size of a mango, which just seems so big to me for still not really showing that that much, but I can definitely feel him more. And just changed for dinner. We are headed to a place called Patty's for dinner. It's right on the beach. Should be really good. I'm just wearing this cardigan that's from Carly Jean. My dress is from my newly rental this month. And then just this little anthropology. The next morning we walked over to Sift again, which really was our morning tradition every single morning in Watch Hill. Sunday morning. I am just hanging out on the porch right now. It is so, so gorgeous. It's a much nicer, well, yesterday was still nice, even though it was raining, but 
It's a much nicer day, so we are having a beach day, which I'm so excited about. Probably not a whole beach day, probably just a couple of hours, because I do think it might rain and just get a little bit cloudy throughout the end of the day. There's also a place called St. Clair's that we really like to eat at. They have really good lobster rolls, which I'm thinking I'm probably gonna get. So I think we'll stop there for lunch. But yeah, just a chill Sunday. I'll share my beach outfit for the day. I'll actually share everything that I packed because I'm gonna pack a few different things. Definitely need to have a little tidy up of the room. So just ignore behind me, but I actually just picked up the swimsuit from Target because I needed something that was just a little bit bigger. So, and then this top is from Aerie and then my shorts are from Target. I think they're actually PJ bottoms, but I think that they work for cover up too. And then for my beach bag, this is actually from Cezanne. I think that this purse is so cute. This is the beach read. I'm gonna try to read two of them. The first one is simplicity parenting using the extraordinary power of less to raise calmer, happier, and more secure kids. I'm only about, I think 80 pages into this. No, 50 pages into this right now, but this is so good. I know that obviously with parenting, I think a lot of that you learn when you're just thrown into it and you actually are a parent and there's only so much research you can do, but I have found this to be really helpful and it especially makes me want to kind of go home and declutter our house more and just kind of minimize the space a bit but i'm really liking this and then i also brought along every summer after which i've heard is just such a great beach read so we'll see i'll let you guys know how i like that one but for now i want to try to finish this before diving into that also packing this sweater this is from ralph lauren i love this sweater i think it's very new england but i might snap a few photos in this so wanted to bring that i also am bringing this cover up because i saw this one pop up on my instagram explore page and it was a really cute maternity piece so just bringing that some snacks and i think that's everything i'm gonna bring claw clip because my hair has not been my favorite lately i feel like it's just not holding a curl it's just a weird straight wavy in between right now so i might end up throw my hair back too. I forgot that I also wanted to share some of the baby clothes that I picked up. These are more so toddler clothes, especially this one, but I saw this in a store up here and just thought it was so symbolic of kind of Aiden's roots of New England. And this is for a two year old. So it's gonna be some time before he can wear that one, but thought that was sweet. And then this little nautical outfit, which is so, so cute. I think this one's for six to nine months. And then it also comes with little pants. I know that white shirt is gonna be such a bad decision, but you know, it was cute. I had to. We stopped at St. Clair's for lobster rolls and then we headed over to East Beach for our beach day. Back from the beach, just did a little outfit change, threw on a skirt, and we are about to grill out some dinner. Aiden is doing some steaks for us tonight. I'm definitely tired, I might take a little nap too. It's about four, actually I think it's close to five now at this point. It is Monday, we are headed to the beach today. Just changed into this dress, it's from Target. And then my swimsuit is from Amazon. This is one that I got to fit better for maternity purposes, but it's super comfy. So I'll link both those down below. It is such a beautiful day though today. So really excited to just be on the beach for quite a bit of time. I'm gonna bring my books, try to get a good amount read. dinner we stopped by St. Clair's for ice cream and then caught the sunset at Napa Tree Point which is the most beautiful beach to catch the sunset around here. It is Tuesday. I haven't really vlogged too much because I have honestly just been working on a video. And that's the thing when we travel, because we do travel pretty often, I do normally have a couple of work things to get done. I did try to finish most of my stuff, but that was the one thing. Actually, there's one more thing I'm gonna have to do one day this week, but that was pretty much it. So wrapped that up. Sorry if it's loud, I have the fan cranking right now because it's definitely a warmer day today. Just curled my hair. I am a little bit burnt, so 
please forgive me. I did wear sunscreen, but I just didn't reapply well. So I'm feeling a little bit crispy today. We'll see if my hair holds these curls because my hair has just not been holding a curl lately. And it's not the humidity or anything. Cause it's not humid at all here. I just threw on a tank top and this top from Aerie. And then these pants are from Petal and Pup. I really wish I had some maternity shorts. I think that I should probably invest in some because I'm a little bit over wearing dresses. I definitely just wanted to throw on some sort of pants situation today. And these are really comfortable, but I would prefer to be wearing shorts today. So I'll definitely share what we get up to for the rest of the day now that my work is done. We drove over to Avondale and we went for a nice long walk through the Avondale Farm Preserve, which has some really, really beautiful walking trails. It's about 5.30, I'm getting ready for dinner. We ended up going to Avondale today, which is an area that has a really cool horse farm. And then they had all these really pretty trails. We just walked around there. It's been pretty chill, so I haven't really vlogged too much. Tonight for dinner, we are actually gonna go to Mystic Pizza because the restaurant we were gonna go to is closed on Tuesdays, which I think is a lot of places around here since it's not technically the on season yet. But Mystic Pizza is also a movie, so super cute. We have been here once before, but we just grabbed a slice to share. So it'll be fun actually eating dinner there. You may have heard of the movie Mystic Pizza, and this is actually where it was filmed here in Mystic, Connecticut. We ordered a barbecue chicken pizza and a pepperoni pizza to share. Good morning, it is Wednesday morning. I am getting ready for the day because we are headed to Newport today, which I'm so excited for. I've never been to Newport before, but it's about, I think like 45 minutes from here. And apparently there's a lot, a lot to see. I've heard so much about Newport, so. It's always fun exploring a new place. Lots of places to walk. They have the Newport mansions that are historic, beautiful homes. I think we're gonna try to do that. Seems like today's gonna be a pretty day weather-wise too. So we should have a nice day for just exploring around. It's about 10 o'clock right now. So I'm just gonna try to get ready really fast. I'm not totally sure what I'm gonna wear yet. Just cause we are gonna be walking around quite a bit. I also wanna wear something cute. Last night was so much fun too. I stopped in and got a couple more baby clothes. So I'll probably share those when we get back. I'll share a little haul. It's only a couple of things, but it's so much fun now being able to shop for baby and not just shopping for clothes for me. I feel like I'm hardly buying clothes for myself anymore. Cause anytime we go anywhere, I'm just like, is there a kid section? And then I end up buying baby clothes, but yeah, I'm just gonna get ready for the day. And then we're gonna head to Newport. Newport was definitely one of my trip highlights. We started by walking down Thames Street, which has lots of shops and places to eat. I'm sure if you're from Rhode Island, you probably think Newport is super kitschy and touristy, but it was such a stunning day. So we just had so much fun exploring. We ate outside at the Black Pearl for lunch and it was delicious. I got a BLT. We continued walking around and we stopped by the Tennis Hall of Fame, which is a really beautiful facility and also a museum that you can go in. But we just looked at the facility. We also stopped by the Breakers Mansion, which is a part of the Newport Mansions. I think there are about 11 that you can go in and tour. These were built back in the Gilded Age and they're really so surreal to tour, especially since a lot of these were just considered summer cottages. We finished off the night by watching another really beautiful sunset at Napa Tree. It is Thursday morning. We are having a chill day today. I actually have quite a bit of work that I need to do today. So I'm probably just gonna be here in this room getting some work done, but it is a really nice, just cozy, cloudy day. It's a little bit chillier. So I'm wearing Aiden's hoodie that he picked up from the Black Dog. I think that this is just a New England store, but I could be wrong. I haven't ever seen stores in Dallas, but we had also picked up a couple of things for our baby that I wanted to share. The first thing is this little onesie, which is so cute. This is three months. I just thought it was so cute and it's so soft, such a nice little onesie. And then the back says Life Off Leash, which I believe is their kind of logo or whatever. This one is a size for a one-year-old. 
so nice just a little crew neck it's hard trying to time the clothes because i always have to think how old he'll be at the time he can actually wear this but this will be around the fall time so i thought this would be cute especially because aiden has this hoodie now little matching hoodie is so cute i do feel like in the last couple of days my stomach has definitely popped i'll share a little bump update even though i think i've said this about five times at this point <laughs> this is what we're looking like right now so crazy i feel like it's gotten so much bigger just the last few days being here definitely have a proper proper bump now it is friday it is our last day here we are having a beach day today it's definitely not a full sun beach day but it is our last day so we want to soak it up it's a little bit cloudy but it'll still be nice i didn't end up vlogging too much yesterday we just hung out and then we went to stonington connecticut for dinner and it was a lovely day i just kind of took the day to hang out with everyone not vlog too much i just finished getting ready i threw in this bandana this is from madewell wearing the same swimsuit as before and then just this little eerie cover up back home obviously i really didn't vlog the last couple of days because I don't think I actually <laughs> said this. Side note, so happy to be back with Cash. We just picked him up from my parents. I'm always so thankful that we can leave him with them because I just love leaving him with family. And it really is so weird traveling without him because for one, we probably take him on like 50% of our trips. Obviously this one, anytime we fly, we don't take him, but he just feels like such a part of our family. And so I'm always so, so excited to get back home to him. I love him so much. I didn't say this when we were there, but Eden has grown up going to Rhode Island. That's where his grandma lives. And this is actually her last summer having the house because they sold the house. And so we were really just soaking it up. It's a very sentimental and special place for him. And it's become a special place for me too. So it was really sweet to get to visit, but the last couple of days we were just kind of taking to hang out with family and I didn't really vlog too much. I did come home to quite a few sweet PR packages and so I wanted to share some of the things that I got. I'm not going to share everything. Some of the stuff I actually <laughs> did order for myself. Mostly they're things for the baby but I will probably share that in a different video because I am planning on vlogging a lot this week. I'm really excited to get back to some normal vlogs, but I wanted to share some of the sweet things that we got from Carter's. They sent over so many cute things. And I love that these are all, I think they're three months and younger, which I'm really excited just to have all this stuff. So I wanted to run through some of it really quickly. I forget which collection this is part of, but we have a sweet little sweater. They sent over a bunch of these sleep sacks and I love this print. They have all these panda pieces. Also, I have not showered. We had a long travel day today, a very early flight. And so I am not looking my best right now. So just ignore that. I feel like I really need to get to sleep, but I have to unpack right when I get home. Let me know if you're like that. Another one, I heard that these are so nice for the early days when you're changing diapers like nonstop. So I'm excited to have those. This little sleeper with little bears on it. So cute. This one came with some pants, but it says full of wander. So sweet. There are honestly so many. I can't even go through all of them. This one says, hello friend. Yeah, there are so many. I don't even think I can show all of them, but this one with little suns on it. Cutest little rompers too. I just can't believe there's gonna be an actual baby in here. It's crazy. And they honestly sent so many more. Those are just a few of the ones. And this I just think is so cute. It has soothing songs on it, nature sounds, white noise, but it's also just a little low light and it's a little acorn. Which is so sweet. I've never seen this before. Wanted to say thank you so much to Carter's. I had another package from Zutano and I've heard that these are just the best booties to get. So they sent over a few of these. I'm gonna give some of these to my sisters too, I think, because my sister Lindsay's having a baby a month after me, which is really exciting. And then my sister-in-law, Lindsay, she has a baby boy right now too. So we have a little white pair, gray pair, and then this pair I think will be so nice, especially since he's gonna be born in the fall time little fall booties and they also sent me some maternity stuff i'm actually wearing the shorts right now and she told me in the email she was like these are the best shorts ever i think it was the maternity leggings she said they're the best maternity leggings i have a pair of these which i cannot wait to wear later on when my bump is a little bit bigger it's their sister company tapello honey i'm probably saying that wrong but they also sent over this 
little overall set, which I'll probably wear pretty soon because these are really nice. They're really thick. Kind of reminds me of the Free People onesie, but just a little bit more structured. And then this is something that I actually ordered. This is from Etsy, but I got this little pumpkin beanie because he's likely gonna be born sometime around Thanksgiving. And so I thought that this would be cute just for photos or something. And lastly, this is another thing that I ordered that I'm really looking forward to. And I still need to ask the owner of this house if this is okay, but I have a feeling he's gonna be okay with it. We'll see, hopefully. But this is peel and stick wallpaper and I love the idea, I guess this is a little hint, it's not this big reveal, but for the nursery, I really like the idea of doing a wall with this kind of toile print. We'll probably end up painting a couple of the walls blue. I know we're just renting, so I don't really wanna go crazy, but, and I know he's gonna be in our room for so much of those early days, but I still love the idea of just having a nice cozy nursery. And so I ordered this from Etsy. That is everything for this vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed watching just our adventures this week for our trip. It was really just such a rejuvenating time. Nice to spend time with family too. And I'm really looking forward to it because I'm actually headed on another trip pretty soon. I'm visiting my grandparents with part of my family, not everyone can make it, but it's gonna be nice to have some family time too. So, so many good things. The summer's just been so busy in the best way possible. Busy is not even the right word. There's just been so many just great blessings and things to be thankful for. Quality time and I'm really so thankful and so thankful for you guys, of course. But I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll catch you guys in my next video. Bye friends.